Hello and welcome guys, this is Ibrahim Qureshi here and uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an introduction on the product Cohesity. This basically is a product which is for secondary storage. As you all know, uh, the primary storage is where we run all our critical applications. But uh, quite often we forget that we do run a lot of work um, load on, you know, a storage which is not machine critical. So we can say that it is a secondary storage so let's let's dive into uh, this product before that let's discuss a little bit about me i'm a virtualization sme uh, vcp5 and vcp6 in data center virtualization mcsa i have been awarded v expert 2019 and uh, recently v expert 2020 this year uh, you can follow me on twitter at ibrahim Qureshi. my blog is agileops.co.uk um, and you can also subscribe to my blog so that you get latest post and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bells now that's aside let's get to the agenda for today about cohesity so we are going to find out a little bit about cohesity who is the founder and then we'll basically dive into the introduction of what the product is cohesity and um, I, when I was going through with my research, I found obviously a lot of uh, unique things about this product, about the scalability and everything. So we are going to dive into uh, the core of the product, which is the span file system, which they call, and um, how they are different as they offer you the best of both world, meaning obviously the on-prem or we could call the enterprise platform and the cloud platform. Then we'll look into the architecture a little bit and then the coercity difference which basically how they stand out of the market and uh, their unique USP. So let's get started shall we. So coercity is basically their mission is to redefine secondary storage which I was talking about. The co-founder, uh, this was founded in 2013 uh, by Mohit Arun and uh, he is the co-founder of Nutanix who basically redefined the uh, virtualization world with high converge infrastructure which which was basically developed by Nutanix and um, um, Mohit was the co-founder and the brains behind it and also Mohit was uh, working as a lead on the Google file system as well so he is a visionary and obviously an entrepreneur from he has found two companies so far Nutanix and Cohesity so let's get into the introduction of the product now so uh, the references for all the links and images which i am using is at the end of this slides and it will be on the description uh, of my video as well this is how cohesity tried to explain the secondary storage so enterprise storage is like an iceberg basically this is what they uh, mean and i i totally agree with it because obviously we know we know all our critical applications run or need to learn with low latency and they need to have you know the fastest storage possible flash right um, and that's why basically you are bring uh, the hyperconverged solution is bringing close the storage closer to the compute that is basically running on the same uh, server so when we are talking about secondary storage which comes the second part of the iceberg which is always hidden um, so if you consider your organization you have a lot of stuff which you are running which is mission critical but obviously you have other stuff which is the bottom of this iceberg which basically shows fragmented and inefficient data yeah so it's it's necessary like backups are necessary you need to have backups for sure right um you might have you know file shares and you need you might need to have uh, data which is uh, a requirement to be archived for you know certain years so you need to have that data stored as well somewhere and then you have analytics which you want to run and that doesn't need high speed analytics data can basically sometimes you run it on the weekend and leave it so you don't need a critical system sorry critical storage or you know a fast um, performing storage you can run it on a secondary storage so that's where basically this um th that's where this market gap is for cohesity i guess so they basically are trying to and of course i forgot about the dev and test because you don't want to 
well, you don't need to. You, I guess if you have all the money in the world, you can run your test and dev on production kit and give them the best performance. But obviously, uh, quite often more organization try to run their dev and test on, you know, um, sec secondary storages or obviously not, not the super fast <laughs> flash um because obviously it's more s relevant for some use cases and some use cases it isn't so what how they are doing this they have uh developed a file system which is called uh span file system so which basically allows them to um give allows them to the unlimited scalability and strict consistent consistent so what that means is any write which we are doing on this file system or cohesity platform is um is a definite write and you do you do not have any inconsistency that is the data is not corrupt will not be corrupted or if you try to read the data you won't get a uh, error or inconsistent inconsistent data also it is multi protocol so you can use this with nfs smb and amazon s3 so you can see easily that this is actually span uh, expanding not just from your private storage sorry private data center it's also expanding to the cloud um, like amazon and it's supporting s3 next obviously we can discuss the global dedupe so deduplication is happening on every level of the platform which we saw um, like it can happen on the you know analytical layer it can happen on the um, looking at this slide here on uh, the backups and also on the cloud cloud layer so DD so ddup is fundamentally built into this product so obviously it's happening <coughs> excuse me so span tree um so basically another great feature which um which i saw about this product is the you allowed uh, limitless snapshots and clones so quite often we as vmware virtualization admins we know that snapshots are okay they are you know lifesavers when you're doing changes and all that but um if you're doing multiple snaps then you kind of build a chain and um, the vm and the host gets you know uh, performance issues or the vm gets slow because the chain needs to be kept and obviously sometimes you also have some bad experience with the chain get gets broken or you need to you know consolidate and all that over here they are not using the chain at all so that's why they are, are eliminating that um threat of performance and all that and that's why they can run unlimited snaps and clones which is really cool self healing basically the system can be configured and when we configure it you can configure it with how you want to self heal so you can configure it when you have uh, say for example multiple nodes you can say this is how we want to heal it so it's sort of you know we have how we have you know ha and drs built in so how it balances everything i'm um, obviously i haven't use this product heavily so far but obviously it's one of their feature which they have um advertised that this this product is self healing and then automated tiring so what that means is as an admin you don't need to worry about where to place your virtual machines if you are or or your data for that because it cannot be virtual machine it could be just backup data or file data file storage data or analytical data anything so as the data gets hot it basically gets moved on the higher tire which is pretty normal for a storage um, provider really and uh, it's been there uh, since a long time from EMC so I guess they are also having that technique so even I heard that they basically also do the same thing for data which is unused if you can configure it uh, you can configure it that if it is unused for like two days move it to you know slow disk and obviously if it is not more used off of that then you you can pretty much move it to cloud as well and then just leave it on glacier or some chiefs cloud storage which uh, you can get you know 
um, and then multi cloud. So yeah, the storage is built from the ground level up and it has support for clouds, um, all the cloud platforms. Um, it has support for Amazon, GCP, and then also Azure. So they are, they are cloud ready and uh, it's not a product which is uh, a traditional product. So usually we see traditional products, we have it in our environment. And then what happens is obviously when we are, um, when your organization is going towards cloud, you need to choose a different vendor. Over here, this vendor is basically already ahead of the game. They have already built this from ground level up. Uh, you can start with one node. You can, uh, while your node is running, you can add multiple nodes without impacting the existing node, which is really cool. Okay, so next thing I want to discuss is sequential and random IOs. They have been um, uh, some videos which I have been watching around this and um, they basically have proved that they can expand up to you know a massive uh, amount and they can have massive uh, sequential and random IOs which uh, doesn't impact the performance. Um, I think I uh, the video I was seeing was mentioning that they have tested it on Azure so the more nodes we add the performance uh, increases uh, along with it and they have tested it with sequential and random IOs um, and then obviously in today's day and age when you're working with cloud you need to be well aware of uh, multi-tenant and cause so basically multi-tenant with uh, is achieved uh, in cohesity by quality of service and QoS so they basically have it already figured out so you have it for your disposal if you want to use um, multi-tenancy really um, another thing is global indexing and search so basically the product gives you a search bar and you can search for any file okay so let's move on to the next topic best of both platforms so as I was saying that this product is designed for on-prem and also cloud which is uh, really amazing because obviously uh, most of the organizations have already gone to presence in the cloud but quite a few of them are still you know getting trying to get on it and uh, some of them are still not on it and still thinking about it or they will go in the future so Coacity is the right product for any one of you which I just said because if you are an enterprise store um, for you as a um, on-prem solution if you want NFS SMB or you know enterprise ready storage this is it I'm going towards cloud it's uh, web scale so that's scalable on the cloud software defined right and then it's a uh, commodity hardware you don't need to buy specific you know customized hardware for this so this is why this is enterprise recommended and it is software defined and enterprise ready yeah so that's that's why it is best of both platforms I would say looking into a little bit on the architecture here so we have uh, <clears throat> on the top layer obviously the fundamental file system which is running which is a distributed file system which uh, is web scale file system which they call is the span FS and then you have the access layer which is as I mentioned NFS SMB S3 and obviously you have data product as there and um, for security and uh, multi-tenancy we as i was talking about you have cause you can add multiple node of these cohesity um, without having any downtime so for that you have this uh, replication you can set replication to all the nodes and then all the data which you are adding you don't need to worry the data will be automatically you know uh, spread across um, and then obviously underneath you're seeing the data storage is basically can be anything it can be cloud storage it can be your hard drives or it can be your flash SSD drives as well you know so that's quite awesome so you have a product which can deliver all these for you before finishing off let's discuss a little bit on make them stand out from the market 
and also ticking the box for the cloud and also quite often now people are thinking about the third thing which is like you know having a hybrid solution and this this basically provides that hybrid solution as well so uh, speaking about the differences on this slide so uh, global space efficiency which means obviously you are saving um, you know the data by using dedupe in not only in the cloud but on prem as well um, and then as i talked about multi workload and isolation again instant mass storage at any point highly available um so as i was saying because they are not using they're using a different method for you know uh, restoring the vms so how they do it is basically if if, if you are backing up your vms and then you want to restore you can instantly restore uh, quite a lot of vms in in a single point really at any point um the platform hooks up to your virtual platform as a data store and then obviously it allows you to it allows you to power them on in the background it does the DR, a storage drs to move the vms to your primary storage if it is your production environment so obviously that's how it basically does it's hidden from the end user it doesn't basically show to the end user how it is happening so data resilience and again uh, we touched on this a little bit so it's strict consistency that means there's no loss of data and sure data integrity so the, the data integrity is always there what you write is what you get <laughs> okay and then multi protocol and universal access so it has you know integration for cloud and apps integration so it's already designed for the future and uh, that's about it guys these are the references i'll have these references on the description as well and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have any questions you can reach out to me on twitter at ibrahim Qureshi and uh, stay tuned for the next video for the demo of uh, deploying the cohesity ovf thanks bye